What's up YouTube, I'm Chris Young and I'm back today with episode one of my new Throwback Thursday series where we will go over coveted sneakers from the past. Now I thought there was no better way than to kick off this series than my favorite sneaker of all time, the Nike LeBron 10 What The MVP. If this is your first time watching the channel, please be sure to hit the like button on this video, comment your opinion on the shoes that we talk about down below in the comment section, as well as your favorite shoes of all time. And lastly, please be sure to subscribe. With the last Travis Scott 6 British Khaki video, we gained a lot of subscribers, guys. So just thank you for the engagement and the support on that video. It was my uh, best viewed video on YouTube so far. I believe it is currently at 12,000 views and the likes were on point in that video. Just everything was really good about that video. So thank you if you played a part and just promoting it, supporting, liking commenting whatever it may be i always appreciate it so thank you guys and we are very close to the 1000 subscriber mark i believe we are currently sitting at 967 so i will have a surprise announcement on my instagram at chris young with an underscore once we do hit that milestone so just thank you guys again for watching today and without further ado let's get into episode one of our throwback thursday series Getting back to the overall theme of this sneaker, the Nike What The Line strive to incorporate every single general release colorway of a certain Nike basketball player's model for that season, and in conclusion, come up with a multicolored, vibrant, spontaneous colorway to release at the end of the year. Now, this LeBron 10 What The MVP came out in June of 2013, and it came out during the Game 1 Eastern Conference Semifinals in which the Miami Heat faced off against the Chicago Bulls. Now, even though the Miami Heat ended up losing this game, this game will always be embedded in my mind as the day LeBron James really broke the sneaker world and gave us something we will never forget. So at the time, the NBA was in a very strict dress code, meaning the NBA players were only allowed to wear shoes that matched their jersey team uniforms. And for LeBron to come out in such vibrant shoes, it was definitely controversial, but it was also a very bold statement. LeBron did take a minimal fine for this, but it was a fine I believe he had no problem paying because, you know, this shoe is very, very influential in the sneaker game. I believe it is a shoe that really kicked off the Nike, Le or the Nike What The Line. Famous other What The shoes from Nike consist of the What The Kobe 8s and the What The KD 6s. I know you guys remember those if you were very uh, into the sneaker game during the Nike basketball era. But yeah, the Nike LeBron 10 What The MVP was definitely ahead of its time. You know, all these vibrant colors on this shoe just really speak to LeBron's character and you know his personality he's a very you know he's a cool dude I mean obviously I haven't met him but just you know watching him for so long this shoe it obviously speaks to him and it speaks to me because you know if you guys know my personal collection I have a lot of vibrant shoes you know shoes that really make a statement so it was obvious that I was gonna one day add these to my personal collection and you know eight years later I am still glad to have these, you know, it's something that I will never get rid of, I will never stop loving, and this is always going to be my personal grail. So let me know if you guys have any personal grails down in the comments section, and hopefully you guys have already acquired them. If not, you can acquire them in the very near future because there's nothing like getting a shoe that you've always, you know, longed for. But as you can see, there's a lot of different colors going on with this shoe, and to give you an example of the general release colorways that are uh, molded into this shoe so on the toe box of the left shoe on this purple panel this is inspired by the lebron 10 area 72 colorway which lebron did wear in the 2013 all-star game and then on the right toe box we have this kind of like dark maroon shade right here it's in this tribal print it's like etched into the toe box it's very nice detailing this is inspired by the uh, lebron 10 black history month colorway and there's just a lot of uh, you know crazy details on this shoe we have lime green laces with blue accents on them. And then on the left shoe, we have these Hulk Hogan bandana type laces where you have the red and then you have the yellow accents on those. You have iridescent color changing lace locks. They're like a lion lace locks, which I think is really, really dope on this shoe. You have a crackle maroon midsole on the right shoe. You have a baby blue midsole on the left shoe with a yellow speckling. You have infrared pods on the lateral and the medial side of the left shoe to complement the uh, medial side infrared Nike swoosh right here. And then moving back to the right side of this shoe to complement the lime green laces on the right one, you do have a lime green uh, Nike swoosh on the medial side of this side. So there's just a lot going on with this shoe, guys. It's one of those shoes that's always gonna catch people's eyes when you wear them in the public. I've worn them to a couple sneaker conventions and every time I wear them, I always get, where did you get those? Because a lot of people, believe it or not, 
outside of the LeBron community, they don't even know these shoes exist. And I, I believe that these might be one of the best shoes of all time. You could put it up there with the Concord 11s, the Galaxy Foams, the Originals. And this shoe just has a lot of meaning behind it. It's one of those shoes, you know, I would feel comfortable moving, you know, every single pair of shoes I had in my collection, but I just could never move this shoe. It's just something about it. And, you know, I always say to my friends, if I had to scrap my entire collection and just keep one shoe, the Nike LeBron 10 What the MVP would definitely be my one choice. Not even just based off of resale value, uh, scarcity, how much the shoe goes for, but just due to the fact that this shoe was the first shoe, you know, I really, you know, coveted and wanted to add to like this was the grail for me let me see if i'm missing any crazy details on this shoe so back to the left side on the lateral side you do have like this uh blue swoosh it's like a light blue right here and then it has a light yellow outline and then on the lateral side of the right shoe you do have a white uh nike swoosh with a orange uh outline there are blue ventilation pods on the right side um but yeah there's just a lot going on with this shoe the outsoles are very crazy so on the right side you do have like this uh turquoise or turquoise mix and then on the left side you do have once again that infrared peeking through on the outsole and i mean shout out to jason petrie and lebron you know they really had to go into their bag and jason petrie at least you know back in the day with a lot of older nike lebron basketball models he really just let his creative juices flow and that's what i really respected about the old nike basketball uh, LeBron line is that you could wear these off the court casually the newer ones cater more to basketball players which it makes sense because you know they are basketball shoes but I would hope you know down the line uh, as LeBron you know proceeds to hang it up in his career that they will go back to a more casual lifestyle approach and you know I would definitely start buying LeBron's more often again but you know that's all I really have to say about these guys. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of the LeBron 10 MVPs. This throwback Thursday will continue for every Thursday following. Let me know if you guys have any uh, grills, like I said, down below in the comment section. This is just one shoe that has always been really high on my you know, radar. I've always wanted it. I've always loved it. And, you know, I mean, just look at them, guys. So. I'm done. Thank you guys again for watching today. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, we are very close to a thousand subscribers. I can't thank all of you for your continued support. And you know, hopefully by the next video, we will go ahead and be at a thousand subscribers and I can go ahead and announce that surprise. So y'all take care, stay blessed, and I will see you guys on the next video.